Okay, this is Renee. Introduce yourself. Renee Renata Bergen. And what are you doing out here? I originally started just bringing, I have a truck. It's a valuable asset in this town in terms of relief. So I just started off bringing stuff down. And then when I saw how it was happening down here, I'm also a filmmaker. I was like, I gotta be documenting this shit. But, no, what I will say, what I will say, and I noticed this like day one, so yes, the devastation is huge, it's obvious, it's very visual, the devastation. However, most immediately, I was struck by how the humanity and the acts of kindness by random strangers that just want to come down and help out and give is if it, it is not only paralleling that devastation, but it's exceeding it. You know, and that's what is so amazing down here. And you got Occupy Sandy on the ground. We were joking around the first day I drove down. It was like, who else but Occupy would be like able to like build infrastructure out of nothing? You know, we're used to that. That's what happened yeah. in the park. But what's nice about here, not nice, but what's different about here, and I think uh, how Occupy Sandy, at least in the Rockways, I haven't been other places, is more effective, is that we are helping rebuild a community and this is about community building, community leadership, um, helping local folks step up you know so that we can walk away and there will still be leadership and amazing things happening. Um, Diego's really the man to talk about the future. This comes through experience and we are raising consciousness here as a collective and our, our response right our response to disaster capitalism is disaster collectivism. Oh. 